a little design talk here on why people don't do what we're doing. There's a reason people don't do asymmetrical um, competitive games that often, because it's hard, right? When you pick up Call of Duty or even Battlefield, you know what to do. You know there's going to be some shooting, right? And then everything else is something else that you'll learn along the way, but you know your default way you behave. Here is our flasher. Now, Flasher is this character that gets bright, and it adds confusion to the, the battlefield, right? It's, it adds it adds chaos, right? And in single player, it brings a horde with it. Well, here, as you play it, you can use the right mouse button, if you're using the mouse, or whatever your alt fire is. It'll, that'll change depending on what you're using. Uh, and it'll bring in all the common in the area. And then when you release it, it sends them your way. I mean, it sends them towards the the enemy. The survivors. Um, it's really powerful, um, but it does suck up everything out of the level as you're walking around gathering people, so it makes it easier for a while for the survivors, and then it makes it harder. It's a trade-off. You have to figure it out, and then we always give you like a SWAT or something easy to do when you get up close, just be, so you have something to do if you if you get caught that way. Um, but like that's a really strange behavior, right? I mean, uh, the Anacrusis Versus is filled with characters with strange behaviors. You have a character that spawns little turrets, like poops, poops them out. I say poops them out, other people say give birth. Eh, we'll see. Um, right, and you have, a, you have a brute, which is kind of a classic big, you know, gonna come in and hit, and you have the grabber, which is kind of another classic one. Um, but then the gooper is another strange one, right, that shoots out goop balls that can cover you and does damage when it hits you, slows you down in the area, it could be set on fire that works against you, slows you down against other enemies really good in combination, like a lot of these work really well in combination. And then uh, you can also right-click on that one, or alt-fire, and it self-destructs. And it'll actually do damage to anybody nearby, and then cover everybody with goop, and cover the area with goop. And it's one, like, you get, you'll see the points ticking off and everything. And, like, the, the spawner that poops out those little turrets, like, you can actually hide. You can stay away from them. You have to be in an area they can reach, but you don't have to be visible to them. You don't have to be that close to them. Kind of close. Right? But, like, these are all strange behaviors that don't exist in other games. And it's also why that makes, for me games like this so much fun to play because there's so many different styles like everybody has a different favorite creature because you play differently and you want to like hey i want to sit back and just drop turrets while i drink a beer um or i want to get really aggressive and use the brute and get in there and you know have i'm really paying attention like it just allows this bigger breadth of experience for everybody playing but it comes with this complexity of explaining it to players and it takes a while to learn so that's why we also have we can just play against the bots and you can learn on your own and like, we just put a lot into that part of it because we know it's so different. But it's what it makes it so great. And it really is just a ton of fun. Can't wait till people can play it. Can't wait till...